Welcome back to our Let's Play of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. In a mission to finish. Uh, electric symbol? Hmm. Alright, so, it's like a floor Broadway sketchy poster. Because there's no more things on here, right? Okay. Go to the sketchy poster on Broadway number two. My current Pokemon are Gekomon, uh, Lekismon, and Takumon. Looking for a sketchy poster. Hello? Ah, I see the sign caught your attention too. The Super Ultra True Puppet. It's quite an intriguing name, that's for sure. Like the name says, it's an ex uh, exquisitely crafted doll made to look like a real human being that you can buy online, or so I hear. Though calling it super or ultra true is a tad and super true is a tad redundant, they have both gotten the point across without using both terms. It's actually not that expensive. I'm thinking of saving up money and buying one myself. It And it's made by the Jorogumo Corporation LTD. Uh, a nice snappy name for a company, although there's a bit sketchy vibe to it, too. Anyway, I wonder who the model behind this doll is, too, come to think of it. Hey, a case has come from in from May. The Cult Research Club. Drop by the office when you can, alright? Okay. Interesting. Does it have to do with the poster? <coughs> I'm thirsty. Okay. New. Here's the Super Ultra Puppet. We apply our trade. <coughs> okay. Detective uh, Kuemi, uh, you have to help us. Um, you have to help us, please. Bye, calm down. I'm sure she'll help us. Tell me what's going on. What's wrong? Given that this business is a little cold club, I think it's another supernatural case on our hands. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no, probably. I don't think this has anything to do with the occult this time. Oh, then why all the big fuss? Well, there's apparently these dolls being stolen here that look just like me and mine. I think those dolls are called Super Ultra or Super Hyper Ultra Lookalikes or something like that. I must be referring to the Super Ultra True Puppets. I heard rumors about them. Alright, tell me more. Those dolls, their faces, their bodies, everything from top to bottom looks just like us. They're so accurate, it's creepy. And. And to make matters worse, they're being sold real cheap. You'd think they'd at least go for a little bit more money on the market. Uh, that's not really the problem here. You get that, right? Uh, but it all still sucks. It makes me feel like they just see me as some kind of cheap piece of junk. I mean, I find it weird too. The draw costs several thousand yen more than mine, but. Wait, so you do care about the prices after. So that's not important. Anyway, these dolls that look just like us are being bought by Otaku all over the place. And, that, and when I think about what those guys are probably doing with their two of them, it really just creeps me out. Hmm, you know, this uh, reminds me of another incident. I wonder if, it's, if this is connected to that. What kind of incident? really dicey looking service out there called the Perfect Girl Project. Uh, you can use it to, to get a living doll made in your image of an ideal girl and live the life you've always dreamed of. Now, the police have been hearing about how owners of these dolls are going missing. I was just discussing with Detective Matayoshi. Super Ultra True Puppets and living dolls made of the images of people's dream girls. I guess they sound like they could be related. But are you sure it's really there's really a connection? That's a tough part to prove. To make dolls that look so similar to how you two really are, 
it have to be a pretty specific data on your bodies. Imagine getting your hands to something like that isn't exactly easy. Actually, I have an idea how they might have managed to pull it off. Uh, there's an LDC machine in the arcade of Akihabara that I think might be suspicious. LDC. You don't mean lustful dream chicks, do you? It's certainly not one for subtlety in that's the case. No, no, not that. I mean Living Doll Club. That's what LDC stands for. Alright, it's a machine that scans all your body and makes 3D printed figure of it. Our data could have somehow leaked out of that, I guess. Hmm, I definitely can't find the possibility. Then our next step is clear. We need to head straight to Akihabara and gather info on the Living Doll Club machine. That'll be your job, Amy. As for me, I'll see if I can dig up anything regarding the Perfect Girl Project. Okay. Very interesting. One second. Akihabara. Sorry if it seems like I'm far away. I have to I'd actually lay down. My nose started to bleed. I have a... Let me move the microphone a little closer. I have problems with nose bleeds. It's never happened during a... Uh, well, it probably has happened during a uh, recording. <laughs> if I'm sniffling, that's why. Ah, oh, Living Doll Club, is it? For a time there was a huge ad campaign about how it used the latest in 3D tech and whatnot. Living Doll Club in the arcade down the way, wasn't there? I don't know, was there? No. You there. I can tell that your body language, you're frustrated and unhappy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I know this is out of the blue, but I bet you're into beautiful women, aren't you? I'll have you know that I sell top-notch dolls of one of the prettiest girls. Maybe you've already heard of them. They're called Super Ultra True Puppets. If you want, I can let you have one for cheap. Go ahead, check get this out for yourself. Huh! <laughs> I know, Kia. Granted, this one's an ugly one that was made as an experiment. It hasn't sold well. You understand how real Dao looks now, don't right? Well, if you're interested in having one of these for yourself now, that's something even better. It's top secret service. Nobody can know. Mwahahaha. Let me ask you. How are you doing help-wise? Uh... Could be better, could be worse. Great to hear. Really, even if you weren't 100% perfect, you'd probably still be fine. But I bet you're bored of how your day-to-day -day life is going. Wouldn't you just love to throw it away and spend it with the girl of your dreams? Doesn't that just sound fantastic? Because the perfect girl project, I can offer you exactly that. See, so they are connected. Perfect girl project, you can have your ideal girl created and sent straight to your room as a living, breathing human being. What? just one condition that you have to abide by if you use the service. And just one condition you can be free from the tedium uh, you've lived up to till now. <laughs> Bet you're wondering just what that condition is. I understand. That's a fair question to ask. Tell you what. I'll tell you uh, um, on... Tell, I'll let you in on the condition for your charge. One condition is that once the dream girl has been set to your room, you can never leave it for the rest of your life. Simple, right? Oh, you don't have to worry about survival. The girls take care of you for that. What do you think? Not a bad deal, right? That's okay. Take all the time you uh, need to think. Once you know you want one, just get in touch and I'll make it happen. Mwahahaha. Stop mwahahahaing. And now I think I'll just go check the LDC machine in the arcade. Seriously. You're... you're... Picking up your giant... Or did you want heal him off? Um. 
What's your investigation in the LDC machine? Mm -hmm. Ah, so you're just about to get started on it. Hmm? You encounter a suspicious man out by the LDC machine. That's a good timing because I'm detecting faint digital noise signature close to where standing. You better take a close look at the arcade machine. That you'll find some clues on how these super ultra true puppets are being made. As usual, this case is started to take some weird turns, so be ready for anything in there. Okay. Looks like a connection jump to the LDC unit. Sure. Experience. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Treasures here now. Mina, it's you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. 
Must be missing something. Go far enough. Okay. I take I take people's data and make dolls from it. Lots and lots of dolls. Dolls that steal souls and become people become dolls. Dolls are lookalikes. People in death like. Huh? Who? What are you? Any interference must be punished. Any interference must be punished. Did you just come out of out of the LDC machine? You're not the cop something, are you? Are you? Uh, I'm the cop secret weapon. Oh, I didn't realize that was that was when I was hitting up. I must not be on top of things like I used to be. Well, I made a good amount of money as it is. Maybe it's time to call it good enough now. Don't bother come after me. There's something, one thing I'm still good at. Turn away. See you. Okay. <clears throat> so the perpetrator behind the case is probably a salesman you met in Digimon working together. It's unfortunately got away, but will live. As we suspected, those two probably. Use the LDC unit to gather up the girl's data and then use it to make a super ultra true puppets. And does that mean you guys checked out the LDC unit in Akiba? 
Uh, that probably means you have a good idea of who's behind the dolls then, right? Don't get too excited. We didn't arrest the guy, but we've got him cornered. I doubt he'll try to pull something like this again anytime soon. The question still remains on what's become the perfect girl project now. Hmm. At the very least, we know each doll's looks are derived from a real person. Dolls' realism is then used to help sway potential candidates to join the project. What is the perfect girl project even really about in the first place? I think Detective Kuemi mentioned that people who are part of it have been disappearing, right? Indeed. Amy actually picked up some rather useful information which is required um, of anybody who does join the project. What is it? Anybody who has their dream girl sent to the room can never leave it. Ever. I'm sure I don't need to explain why that's probably a bad deal. Oh, what's this? My, it's a URL left at the crime scene. Might come in handy, Amy. Why don't you check... Go to that URL and check it out. But don't worry about going in too deep inside. We don't know what you'll find there. It's very possible we could be dealing with something extremely dark and sinister. Dark and... Sinister? You're talking as grim as stuff you look at in your... Uh... At, uh... We're talking as grim as the stuff you look at for fun in your club. Maybe even more so. Whatever's on the other side, it's not going to be pretty by any means. Uh, can I go back? Huh? Who are you, a cyber sleuth? Heh. Man, this place sure is crowded now. Is this my room? Yeah, of course it is. What's this about being inside Eden? <laughs> Stop joking around. This is clearly the real world. How could I be in cyberspace? Were are all these girls around me? They're all... They're my dream girls. My dream girls are as pure, pristine dolls. Yep. This is all made possible thanks to the perfect girl project. You really know your stuff. I promise in exchange for these dolls, I've stayed locked up inside my room. Life with these girls is the best. I couldn't be happier. They take care of everything I need. Really, I don't see any reason to ever leave this place anyway. It's perfect here. But this really is inside Eden? Haha, <laughs> get it out already with that man. Are you sure you're not the one who's actually dreaming right now? Huh. Alright then. So the URL led you to one of the victims of the Perfect Girl Project. Victim? What do you mean? Remember, to join the project, you have to stay holed up inside your room for the rest of your life. But in reality, he was learning to Eden, and now he's living with those girls there while he's actually unconscious. But then that means... Right, the so-called life he's leading with those girls in cyberspace is one big lie. All things just a sad scam. Anybody who falls prey for the unwittingly imprison themselves in, uh, for life inside cyberspace, thinking they never left the real world at all. That makes sense. also makes sense if you think about the name of the company behind it. Uh, Jorobumo. Jorobumo is a mythical spider who appears as, beautiful women, as a beautiful woman to attract men to a waterfall. They plunge in for her and die at her hands. Oh ho ho. I knew if there was anyone who'd know about this, it'd be you, Mai. You really know your occult history, okay? So, I get all that, but why go through the trouble of locking victims in the room and then imprisoning them in cyberspace? If somebody's stuck in Eden thinking they're still in the real world and don't log out, then... All that's left inside the locked rooms is living bodies, which should be used for any number of things. Like... like what? When the police investigations, victim bodies are carried off by a third party and taken overseas to foreign countries. What? Why would anyone do that? A lot of applicants are healthy, uh, young and healthy. There are, there are who know, there are who knows how many people around the globe who want such fresh bodies. That, that's horrible. We don't know for sure that's, uh, if, that it's anything along those lines, just there right now. <laughs> Just thinking about it gives me real goosebumps. Anyway, not the guy your assistant met a little while ago. What do you think happened to him? 
It's hard to know for certain. On the one hand, his body might already be lost forever. But on the other hand, we might still have a shot of saving him. Might as well see if we can still call out, call out, out to him. We should be prepared for the worst. Okay. That's depressing. Hmm. What's this? Please. Uh, you need to log out. Another one of those kids' pranks? How many times do I have to tell you, buddy? I'm in the real world. I can't log out even if I wanted to. You must be pretty clueless if you think this is possibly the inside of Eden. <laughs> well, couldn't hurt to try. I mean, there's no way it'll work. That's not how it works in the real world. I mean, come on. Huh? What am I... What am I seeing here? I don't get it. Error? Nowhere to log out. Okay. Okay. Let's go heal our Pokemon. Pokemon. Digimon. Take a while to get his cam up though. What I need it to be. Gargomon is almost ready to digivolve. Between dreams and reality can be murky. It's why I can't dismiss the possibility outright. Who are we to say that we don't live in a dream? Okay. <coughs> Detective Matsuyoshi says a rod has been seen in Shinjuku a lot. What's he up to? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh, 
key. That's why I started on a farm grass and moved by it. Hey, what are you doing around here? Are uh, you telling me the great cyber sleuth is just walking around looking for a job? <laughs> just joking with you. You're uh, free. Do you want to hang out? Actually, this is written it challenge. Just came from a serious guy. It says, in my hand, I am holding a very rare out of print edition of the comic uh, Baku and Delete. If you want it, accept the challenge. Basically, it's a rare comic contest. What do you think? Interesting, huh? Let's do it together. Oh, I, oh, I know, I know. I'll send it to Kyoko as an official request. If she finds out we're slacking off working, go mess around. Kyoko's gonna explode. Okay. So, go back to the thing. Comic collection. Serious man has issued a challenge. Fight for rare comics at stake. Cyber Sleuth, I need your help. Alright, I guess I'm going back to Shinjuku. Let's go. Is there a clue on that thing that I just missed? Oh, even community. Is this your friend? Probably a lot is. Okay. Uh, that, I mean, this this is a. Uh, okay, there's two of you who are doing the rare comic contest this time. Okay, then. Do your best. Well, see you. Ah, huh. so you're telling me there's a written challenge from the suspicious guy. Right? Suspicious guy is a rare comic collector. He brings participants in your problems to rare comics and then he gets them to answer fan questions he comes up with. All over even contest organizers, so called game masters, ask questions everyone has to answer. 
way it works is the first one to reach the rare comic collector will be presented with one of the best comics. You can't just buy a rare comic from the collector. Man, but I wouldn't get, to get that rare comic. It was literally saliv salivating at the very thought. We gotta do it. We gotta win. We need to get our hands on that rare comic. Uh, you want to know about Vakia and Delete? Yes? It's a long story, but it's a good one. Okay. Uh, where Baku Delhi is set in a turn of the century dystopia. Baku in or Bomber Garden is a scene of a wild hero and heroine adventure. The hero of Sho uh, Shokuya Haku is Shoyua Haku. He's the head of a student council, brilliant genius, and a senior at a private school called St. Therese. Not just that, but he's an incredible hacker. Aku Saku Delete. He's vowed never to kill. He uh, destroys evil hackers all in the name of justice. At the start of the series, he's effective who uses his hacking. He uses hacking, but. Huh? Are you even listening to me? Well, I did say it was a long story. Anyway, Baku Yen Delete is now out of print. It's an amazing chance to get a final volume of the comic, which is extremely rare. Huh? Why is it out of print? Well, that's a long story. Do you want to hear it? Okay, go for it. Well, it was just an overreaction. From uh, when it was published, harmful hackers started to pop up and even people feared the comic was to blame. Believe it or not, they suspected the author of being a hacker himself when he was arrested. After that, it was recalled and went out of print. It was always just a minor comic to a few fans. Shops stopped stocking in three days before the arrest, making an extremely rare comic. Now you can get the contest the comic on the web. Nothing beats a real deal. Hey, are you even listening to me? Sorry. How uh, you want to know who the suspicious guy who issued the written challenge is? Well, basically, uh, you see, I guess nobody really knows, to be honest. Okay, this is uh, the starting point. Game Master must be around here somewhere. Let's find the first Game Master and solve the first puzzle. Okay. Guessing it is the person with an explanation over their head. Like this guy. <laughs> so you're the participants in the comics, right? Okay. So answer the following question. Uh, in which frame of, the, of which volume of the comic series did the main characters rival uh, each and new? Uh, Ichinosuke Ginda first appear. Uh, I don't know. Difficult question for you. It's an easy one for me. Answer is volume 43, frame 2, right? Uh, that's a scene of the general Asimov brings him to the classroom. <laughs> Correct. Uh, this is just a beginner level question. Next place above the entrance of Eden. Uh, you'll be asked another question by the next game master. Okay. Second game master should be around here somewhere. Let's look for him and answer the next question. Okay, then let's get started. Question. Does it even matter which one would I pick, though? Uh, in Baku and Delete, what is the name of the pet rabbit that belongs to Rodrigo, the main character's Japanese-Brazilian next-door neighbor? Uh, obviously, it's Mrs. Nana. The dog was called John, and the cat was called Polish, and the monkey was called Ekaterina. Really? Is it uh, Pian... Catchy? 
Wow, that's amazing. Correct. So, far you have been able to answer all the questions easily. Just what I expect from you, Arata. <laughs> Make sure you go to the Eden community area. And there you'll be asked the final question of the next Game Master. First question to answer... First one to answer the question correctly will begin the word comic. Hey, try your best. Good luck. Uh, they, they knew who exactly where you were. Right. Back to the game area, I guess. Game Master should be around here somewhere. Let's look for him and answer the next question. You're top tier Game Master, right? Precisely. Finally made it there. Of course, it would be you, Murata. So, shall we go get to the final question? Question. The main character of uh, Bak Yuan Delete uh, uh, Shokuya Aki went to school by the name of. <laughs> That's an easy one. It's called St. Rice Private High School, right? However, I'm afraid I need the exact name and address of the school. I, uh, but I don't know... Uh... Yeah, I think it came up volume 18, seeing the school entry application accepted. Hmm. Oh, damn it. Come on, I know this. Don't remember. Amy, can you figure it out? You go ask some comic book nerds around the Broadway used bookstore, they'll probably know. Please. Alright. I'll, uh, you stay here and beat up anybody that, uh, tries to, uh, answer the question, I guess. Stores on the third floor. Huh? Then Rice School's address. Who the hell are you, and why are you asking me this out of the blue? Then Rice. Well, you mean the one from the main character of Bakui and Delete went to. Uh, well, you know, even though I'm an expert at everything in the comic book, you ask me out of nowhere like that. Eh, <laughs> nah, that's an easy one. Uh, Kingston 58. That's a question on the screen. No freaking way, are you freaking kidding me? Uh, you gotta tell me about it. Uh, no. Sorry. Let's hurry up and uh, get there before the guy I just talked to ends up. Already. Someone else will win the rear comic. No! I mean, how did it go? Do you know the answer? That's it. Kingston 5 8. That's exactly. Congratulations. That's the right answer. Yes, I did it. Amy, thank you so much. That's it. You've answered all the questions. Please go to even free area now. If you're there first, the comic will be yours. Yeah, Amy. Serious guy who organized this contest seems to be an Eden Free area. Quick, let's go. Okay. Um, I still think that guy that I just talked to is going to
Hey, Arata. Oh, so close. Fortunately, someone who got here before you. It's, you're the second one here, Arata. No, really? Yes, it was a split second difference, actually. Ugh, I can't believe it. I tried so hard. Well, what can you do? It was fun, so I guess it's uh, not a total loss. Uh, it was nice to way to pass the time. <laughs> well then, Arata, maybe you should hold another rare comic contest in the future. Ah, cool. Yeah, definitely. Next time I'm the organizer. Hmm? Oh yeah, I know this guy. Huh? You said... I said he was suspicious looking? No, I never said that. Well, I think it spices things up calling him suspicious and all that. Actually, I do that all the time with my friends. This guy is, well, sort of my friend. Or whatever. Well, what is it? Is something wrong? Uh... You're just posing as a cool owner. Don't say that. That's not true at all. Well, even so, it was fun, right? You should take part next time, too. But we didn't win. Comic of hackers having engaged in battles with each other. Comic book of people like him who have a kind of sickness. Still, so, rare comic contest amongst friends. Wonder why humans would bother putting so much energy into something so utterly, utterly fruitless. There you go again, it's acting like you're not human. Are you an alien? Are you a Digimon? Are you a Digimon? You really have a lot of time on your hands. What? It's a Digimon. Ooh, a farm plugin. And a harbor all, uh, mini <laughs> that exactly four um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Five whole gummy bears in there. Kamaosa, Kimino Kamishiro and the Senyuke Kakuna, what この計画はその3つが合わさって初めて実現できるんだ。コネクトジャンプ。ああ、あんたは知らなかったか。おい、説明してやれよ。ああ、ジョー。反転の体そんなことが現実に起こり得るなんて。なるほど。でも納得しました
お宅にはその会場の端末から機密情報データベースへ侵入してもらう侵入したら機密情報データベースの招待 URL を俺に転送してくれそうすれば俺も侵入することができるそこから秘密の部屋に潜入するというわけだなああそこに保管してある情報さえ手に入れればスエドウの思惑も神代の謎も全部解けるはずなんだでもってお宅にはもう一丁骨を使ってもらいてえ秘密の部屋に入るためのパスコードは毎日変更されてるらしくてなパスコードを知っているのは CEO の岸辺だけ岸辺に近づけるのはオタクだけなんだ私パスコードを盗み出せって言うんですねまそういうこった最高機密エリアに入ったら京子さんと通信できるようにセキュリティを解除しておく京子さんを経由して俺たちにパスコードを教えてくれうん、なんだよ今更さら協力できないとか言い出すんじゃねえだろうないえそれは構いませんが一つお願いがあります秘密の部屋にはおそらく父の上白悟の手記や研究データも残っているはずですそれも一緒に手に入れてもらえませんかそこにはきっと父の自殺の真相やエデン症候群にまつわる情報もあるはずですからなるほど確かに前回は決定的な情報を見つけることができなかった秘密の部屋にならあるいはということかああそういうことなら構わねえぜ手間は変わらねえしなまっもっともそこにそのデータが本当にあるかどうかは分からねえけどそうですねもう一つデータの保管場所に心当たりはあるんですがエデンの量子的演算処理および制御の要であるバルハラサーバーエデン初期からのあらゆる履歴を刻むあそこになら確実に。おいおいおいちょっと待てよバルハラサーバなんて随分物騒な名前を出してくるじゃねえかあれはレジェンドクラスのハッカーも寄せ付けない世界有数の超高難度セキュリティの塊だぜほう自信家の君が弱音とは珍しい痛い目を見た経験でもあるのかなう,うるせえなとにかくあそこはダメだ少なくともハッキングでどうこうできる代物じゃないでもデジモンプログラムを利用したハッキングにはきっと対処しきれない何だっていえとにかく秘密の部屋に潜入する時点で綱渡りなんだバルハラサーバーにまで行けってんなら話は別だ俺は手を引くふんここで君に降りられては元も子もないでは今回は秘密の部屋にターゲットを絞るとしよう仕方がないですね二頭を追う者は一頭も得ず私はそれで構いませんよっしゃそんじゃ作戦開始と行こうぜマスターパンえうっすんばんうっすんばんうんばんコメントプリテッドトゥコメントプリテッドオッケーもう just about out of time we're about to do a big、uh, mission so I should probably call it.
Alright, next level. Big mission, chapter nine. It's not on there. Wow. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, when we come back, we'll go to Comet Show. Uh, Eden. Until next time though, thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a like, share, comment, subscribe, voice lets me out. And as always, have a good day and take care. <laughs>